Um, let's go for it.
Thomas, I am. Um, I guess the last question to answer is, how do I fit into all of this? In your memories and in your mind. All your friends from the neighborhood were here. This was the happiest day of your life. The empathy of a child is a very powerful thing. It wasn't long till he was consumed by intoxication. He was warned and still he continued. How were you meant to know he was going to go away as well? You just watched him stagger in every evening, always ensuring he got to bed and was safe. This was a normal family home once. You know that to be true. Take this birthday when you were a young boy. You were happy. A normal, happy family, together at home, living a normal, happy life. Or so a photograph would tell you from a glance. You could only think of one place that you might be safe. And it wasn't with them. She wasn't happy, and she couldn't be a wife to a drunk. Too many times he came in late. Too many times he just didn't care. They did love each other once. When they were young, he was a romantic, and she fell for him. soul in a sea of uncertainty, frightened and scared. You know, you always were a wonderful artist, yet these memories are all yours, every one an experience from your life. Some of them we were together and others only you experienced. Lost in your own illness, your mind fought to save as much as it possibly could by creating this confused world of fantasy and reality. These core memories from your childhood, they made you who you are today, traumatic as they are. But it truly was the only way that you could understand who you are as an individual. You're being treated with validation therapy, and you're struggling to feel alive. 
sat in that leather chair in that care home day in day out I don't know why but I decided to follow you I grabbed my coat and I sneaked out the back door to head to the lighthouse too that was the last time I saw you for a very long time but it wasn't the last time I held your hand I always wanted to find you and I did I did find you all those years later I held your hand it's time we face this Please, Thomas, sit down. Mr. Fletcher? Mr. Fletcher? Thomas? Hello, it's me, Dr. Redmonds. You want me to sit? Okay, let me just grab a chair. I've bought two of your favorite things today. Sorry, what was that, Thomas? Oh, of course I'll hold your hand. Would you like to see what I've brought you? Let's look at this one first. I think it'll mean a lot to you. Oh. Thomas. Oh, let me wipe those tears. Does this lamp mean something? Uh, of course. Of course you can. Here. Did your father give you this lamp, Thomas? Is that why it's important to you? That's why it's important. Let me get closer, Thomas. I can't quite hear you. That's not why it's important. Why is it so important? Because... Because my wife... She, she kept it for me. <laughs> for all those years when I was taken away from here. From Pinwheel? Yes, yes. <clears throat> but she... Where, where is she? I... I want to see her. Thomas, I... When did you last see Jean? I... I, I saw her. I, I, I'm sure. Well, you've done very well today, Thomas. I am. Um, I do have another item for you, though. I think this will help you remember. I mean, I hope it will. to wind it up for you. Okay, here it goes. Shall we? And that, oh ladies and gentlemen, is Ether One. That's it. That's the game. We've completed the game. It's absolutely incredible. 
and also very very sad at the end. Ah, <laughs> guidance of Peter Field and Josh Taylor, Jay Taylor. Oh, that's cool. Everyone got a little bit inside the game. Ah, NJ is Thomas Fletcher. That's interesting. It's a great little company to have produced this. I really, really, really love this game. It makes me very happy. Oh, additional meter, Jan T <laughs> Dan Chableton home. Wow. So yeah, just a bit, bit uh, in shock from the ending. Very good. Yep. Okay, so I am absolutely blown away by this, and I really love it. And that's about all I have to say on it for now. So I guess we'll cut this here. I think. <laughs>